Hi there. I'm here to get you some tarot messages for today. Let's look into the energies of your person. We'll see what's going on with your person uh, and what these cards have to say today. Uh, I've got the Alchemical Visions Tarot today. I love this deck. I don't use it all that often um, because it's so large. Uh, I've got, you know, two cards fills up the whole table. But So let's just, we'll just draw um, a couple cards at a time and we'll see uh, what messages want to come through. Cards are shuffled, ready to go. All right, so we have a two of sword and a six of coin. All right, so your person is contemplating uh, making a new decision, a new choice, uh, something that brings in more harmony in their life. Like they're seeking, they're seeking harmony here. They're seeking, I feel like they want to offer you more love um, and they want to receive more love in their life. Perhaps they're in a situation that has gone cold or um, they haven't either haven't been communicating with you or there's something here that they want to change. They're not quite sure how to change it just just yet, uh, but there's something about offering you. I'm looking at the roses here, like offering you love here, offering you healing um, and hoping that they'll receive the same in return. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? We have King of Wands. And the Hangman. Yeah, they think of you often. They're, they're, I feel like they're constantly thinking of you. Um, thinking about life with you. How, um, you know, how things would look. Um, if the two of you to get were together, they're very passionate about you. Uh, I feel like you, if this is your reading, you have a very spiritual connection, whether you label it twin flame or um, whatever you label this relationship. Like there's something about you that is unforgettable. Like even if, you know, even if they tried to uh, forget, it's like you're unforgettable. Um, you know, there's that song, Unforgettable in Every Way. And yeah, I'm definitely not a singer, but there's something about, doesn't matter how long it's been since you first met, the, since the first time you laid eyes on each other, there was something um, alluring. There was something magical. It was like there was something that, like, you both lit up each other's world when you first set eyes on each other. Uh, That's what I'm getting here. We have King of Coin and Six of Cups. Okay, so, you know, I feel like they've been dealing with, you know, like balancing also their ego and their heart. You know, this King of Coin... King of coin can have, you know, be focused on the material things, whereas the six of cups is focused on, you know, the emotional things. And there needs to be some sort of balance there. They think about that, you know, like, okay, what, I feel like they may need to give up some material possessions in order to uh, reunite with you. And that's been a challenge because maybe... Maybe they have defined themselves through their material possessions. Uh, maybe they found great importance uh, with their uh, physical possessions. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with physical um, possessions, but there also needs to be, you know, a balance. You can have a lot of, you can be surrounded by a lot of shiny things, but if you're not emotionally satisfied, then you know, there's, it'll feel like something is missing, uh, is what I'm getting. Uh, we'll keep going here. Page of Cups. Well, they have a lot to say to you. They definitely love you. They want to tell you that. Uh, Seven of Wands, though, very challenging for them to discuss emotions or put 
uh, words to their thoughts and feelings. Uh, but they definitely do love you, but it's, you know, they haven't been able to express it properly to you. Uh, we have the world and the knight of coins. Yeah, they've been very, they they really do want to, you know, complete the old cycle and step into the new with you. Uh, they have been did I say Knight of Coin? That's the Eight of Coin. It's interesting because I'm I was getting like they've been trying to close out an old cycle. You know, they're focusing on closing out an old cycle or at least um, learning those life lessons that involve, you know, the ego and material things and priorities uh, in life. I feel like they have been like sifting and sorting um, it's interesting, this particular world card, it's like there's a lot of different components to it. Um, there's, there's just a lot, there's mind, body, spirit here, there is, you know, there's a time, there's a season for everything, there's a time to plant, there's a time to, um, grow, there's a time to stand still here, so I feel like your person really has been putting in the effort. They want to make the change. Um, let's see. What are they offering you? Ooh, Ace of Swords. I do like that. They, they want to offer you the truth of how they're actually uh, feeling here. Eight of Cups. They definitely want to walk towards you here. Um, you know, and release the resistance. Like, they want to make you this offer. It's like, you know, both of these cards have their hand held out. Like, they want to offer you the truth. They want to offer you love. They want to offer you that wish fulfillment. Um, but they need to, like, kind of clear their mind of of um, things that have held them back. You know, I feel like it's, like, material things or, um, you know, past patterns or belief systems or, or situations, living environments, um, you know, relationships. There's some things that need to be cleared in order for them to step towards you. Uh, the seven of coin, yeah, it's like they, they're, they're, they're overwhelmed with thoughts for you here. Ace of Wands. Yeah, but they do want that new beginning. They want to let the light shine in. Let your light shine down uh, is what I'm hearing. That song. Maybe, you know, with all the songs that are coming to me here, maybe your person is, is hearing a lot of um, songs, you know, songs that are stuck in their head. Or maybe you're hearing a lot of different songs um, that, that are giving... You both guidance to, you know, reunite with each other. Oh, there's that Knight of Coin. I was, isn't that interesting? I think I might have said Knight of Coin when I pulled that Eight of Coin. Um, and here it is, the Knight of Coin. It's like they want to take an action. Uh, they find you very alluring, very exciting, uh, very loving, very nurturing, very spiritual. Um, but it's, you know, that kind of freaks them out a little bit at times. Uh, Nine of Cups. Yeah, I love this. You know, and, you know, we saw the Eight of Cups, and Eight of Cups for me is often walking towards that Nine of Cups, that wish fulfillment. Um, so they definitely want to head in your direction. Uh, they're trying to balance their, you know, their physical world with their emotional world, their spiritual world, their, their mental health, physical health. Um, let's get one more. Uh, we have 10 of wands. Yeah, it's like, okay, where do I, what do I hold on to and what do I release at this time? Like, they've got just too much going on here. Yeah, eight of wands. They want to move forward. Uh, they want to, you know, release some things that, um, no longer... Give them joy or support or love or a feeling of satisfaction. That's uh, what I'm getting here. Uh, let's see. I didn't bring a... I didn't... I didn't get an oracle message. Usually I have an oracle um, message in closing. Let's do... How about... All right. Let's do lover's oracle and moon oracle. Let's see. What does the moon oracle have to say? 
We'll get a message from the moon, Oracle. Let's see. Should we let it jump out or should we just pick one? Let's see. We have nature. Okay, so perhaps your person you know, has been, you know, taking walks or, or spending time uh, alone seeking that wisdom, uh, the wisdom of how to proceed, how to communicate with you, how to uh, release uh, the past. That's uh, what I'm getting here. All right, let's get a final message from the Lover's Oracle. If you're still watching, please do like, subscribe. Share, comment, all that stuff is always appreciated. Thank you very much. Closing words of wisdom. We have balance. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges and we have time you are trying too hard give it time and the bottom of this deck we have freedom there is nothing stopping you peace be with you bye now